God bless you. Uh, I wanted to share today on uh, God bless all you scopers out there. Again, Pastor Stephen F. Smith with, with uh, Wisdom from the Word TV. Wisdom from the Word TV. Use that hashtag. Hashtag Wisdom from the Word. Hashtag Wisdom from the Word. Thanks, Inspiration. Thanks, Pastor Kearney. I don't know which Pastor Kearney that is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Pastor Kearney Thomas. God bless you, preacher. Now, I don't have your squall, but maybe one day I'll get it. Uh, uh, God bless you. Uh, uh, definitely, Pastor Thomas. I've watched you on t television numerous times. But I want to talk to you today about the storm is passing over. Uh, in today in the Memphis area, uh, God bless you. I'm on my way. I don't know if you're there, but I'll be there before the uh, maybe before uh, late before Sunday. Uh, thank you, Prophet TK. Uh, you know the storm is passing over today in Memphis. It's overcast. We got three or four uh, disastrous days of rain coming. You know, and some with uh, severe uh, consequences. And much like we have uh, a big storm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, in St. Louis. I, I didn't know if you were there yet, uh, uh, but I figured you were. Uh, but uh, uh, there, there are three or four disastrous days of uh, storms predicted for the Memphis area. And, you know, for the first time, I'm going to tell you what I do outside of ministry. I'm in the funeral business, so I'm the guy that's all the way in another sector of life, uh, you know, that, man, helps, you know, many times folks are going on their last ride, their last turn, their last piece with me. And one of the biggest challenges is adverse weather. But what I've seen, and, you know, much like people who are challenged in another portion of life, is that the storm doesn't last always. You know, I heard someone say uh, uh, the, a couple years ago that say you're either in a storm, you're uh, coming out of a storm, or you, God bless you, Sister Renee Rainey, or you're well on the way to your next storm. The storm, you know, it was a triumphant gospel song a couple years ago. The storm is passing over. You know, look, folks, the scriptures declare that God causes it to rain on the just and the unjust. So none of us are storm exempt. None of us are storm free. In your life, you will have a storm. But my word to you on today is that the storm is passing over. This thing that came to you, it didn't come to stay. The storm in your life, it didn't come to stay. It came to pass. You know that situation, some private, some personal, some that no one else knows about. Uh, you know, when it, when it, when it, perplexes you when your mind is tried in a particular area, hey, that becomes a storm. You might as well have lightning and thunder. You might as well have uh, winds that are, 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 you know, matter of fact, uh, when Jesus spoke to the storm in the Gospels, one Gospel writer, uh, uh, you know, was talking about the winds that came with the storm. And I think, I don't know if it's the Message Bible or, or, or whether one of the commentators broke it down, but they broke it down that the, the, the winds were of hurricane proportions. Uh, that means uh, gale force winds, you know, hurricane proportions. It takes 75 mile per hour winds to classify as a hurricane wind. So this isn't talking about a little bad wind coming through your life. This isn't even talking about a little contrary wind. That scripture where it said, for the wind was contrary. In another passage of scripture, uh, contrary means adverse or unfavorable wind. And we all have those to blow in our life uh, from one time or another. But this is talking about a solid, straight up storm. And, and I don't know, you know, it may be, this may go over your head. You may not be going through a straight up storm, but there are so many of us that are fighting a straight up storm. You know, winds that are 75 mile per hour 
winds. You, you don't have a little bad wind blowing in your house. <laughs> All right? You, you are in my house. Okay. Oh, God bless you. And you're not, you don't have a little bit of wind blowing. You got a straight up storm. I mean, this is hurricane. You know, this is gale force winds. You know, you know, folks, some folks that come to you hear those folks that come to your job and complain about their problems. And you said, and you're thinking to yourself, boy, if that's the only issue of your day, if that's the only problem that you're dealing with when you're going through a straight up storm, they got a contrary wind. But you're hearing about their contrary wind all day while you're smiling to hold back the tears while you're going through a straight up storm. I mean, you you didn't even say anything at the last family get together. Now they got you in all type of mess. All you're trying to do is walk and live godly. And now the family says that you think you're, you're so much. You know, they shun and walk you past you at the family get together. People that once loved, cried, hugged, and rooted for you. And now you got a problem. You know, it's one thing to be fought from the outside. But it's also something to be, you know, when you have problems with your home team, that causes a straight up storm. I mean, I'm not talking about a little problem. You know, if you got a little problem, this is the wrong broadcast. But I want to talk to you that are going through a straight up bona fide storm. The winds are blowing through your life and they're not just contrary. You're beginning to sink. You know, you know, I, I, the Lord gave me, you know, in that when in that passage of scripture talking about contrary winds, it says, and, and that beginning to seek, uh, uh, he said, Lord, save me while he was going down. Peter go, was going down, beginning to sink. The Lord told me beginning to sink can be uh, uh, can take a long time. You know, he said the devil doesn't attack all at one moment. The devil can get you and you're beginning to sink in slow motion. You, you see, the one of the, you, you're be, literally beginning to sink, you're falling down, you're going under, and there's nothing you can do about it. Look, folks, right now, while you're going through the storm of your life, my prophetic word to you is that this storm is passing over. That your days in this storm, your days of, of you tried to have an umbrella and your umbrellas have been destroyed. It's blowing off the roof or off your peace. It's, it's uh, sending winds that are throwing your persons to and fro. You're almost where you once were stable. Now you're being all tossed to and fro, sometimes by every wind and doctrine because of the severity of your storm. And people are judging you. While they just have an adverse wind or two blowing in their lives. Look, folks, in the midst of your storm, my prophetic word to you is that this storm is passing over. It's about to die. God's about to bring some peace. He's about to bring some calm into your life. The storm is passing over. Uh, your, your days of being under uh, a crazy deluge are almost over. Your days of being uh, dodging lightning and dodging 75 mile per hour, literally spiritual winds are almost over. The storm is passing over. Your storm is about to be over. I'm preaching and speaking your extrication papers. I'm, the, I'm being a spiritual weatherman on today that the storm is passing over. Your days of being under storm after storm, your days of having to cry and, and no one hears it are gone. The storm is passing over your life. God didn't intend for you. You know, in every life, some rain must fall. But God didn't tell you to be in the midst of every particular storm in life. The storm is passing over your life. God's about to give you peace that surpasses all understanding. God's about to give you peace, his perfect peace, his perfect shalom. God's about to deliver you in the midst of the storm. I don't care whether it's a financial storm, it's a relationship storm. I don't care if it's a storm in your body. You know, I, we can't get away from a contrary wind coming our way every now and then, but a straight up storm 
God's delivering you from that storm on today. This is a rhema word. This is a God said word. I de I'm decreeing. I'm becoming a spiritual weatherman and standing on God's word on today. I decree and declare that you're free from that storm in your life. I, I mean, you know, folks talk about you and they look down on you and they're fighting a bad wind while you are in a full-fledged storm. You can't judge a person that's in a full-fledged storm when only a wind is blowing in your life. I hear all these folks all the time, well, she's a prayer warrior. Uh, she's a prayer warrior. It's easy to be a prayer warrior when your money is tight, your honey is right, and all your utilities are on at the same time. But how about you? You've been praying while you've been persecuted. You've been praying while you've been uh, tried. You've been praying while you're doing without. You've been praying while you're fighting a sickness in your body. See, it's the vantage point that you look at things. It's the lens that you look at things that determines who you tr truly are. The scriptures declare that if you fight in the day of adversity, then your strength is weak. You don't, we don't ascertain your strength when you're on the sunlit summit of the mountaintop. It's in the valleys of life that show who you truly are. It's when crisis hits your doorway. It's when crisis hits your home phone. It's when crisis hits your PIN number. It's when crisis hits your physical body that we really know who you really are. And what I'm submitting to you, child of God, that I'm speaking a word that you are today extricated from that severe storm in your life. People are going to judge you, let them judge. People are going to talk, let them talk. Your, your, what you need to seek more than anything is deliverance from that storm. And I'm speaking in the words of my great leader that's passed on, and boy, I miss him, the late Bishop Gilbert, the late Bishop G. E. Patterson, that's Gilbert Earl Patterson, he used to say, be healed, be delivered, and be set free. And my word to you on today is that you're set free from your storm. God bless you. Have an awesome day. You're free from that storm. God bless you.